Use the Object Properties panel for precise formatting and control of your RoboHelp content. The Object Properties panel provides access to many of the key metrics for the assets in your RoboHelp topics. It gives you access to properties for individual items, like this graphic, or this heading. And it also provides access to style sheet information for faster, more efficient formatting. Here are some great ways to save time using the Properties panel in Adobe RoboHelp. For graphics, after selecting this icon, in the Content Properties, we see the properties for this image, its relative location for the file, its alternate text, an option to display a thumbnail, and sections that can be expanded for alignment and other items you might want to change. Moving back to the heading, the content property now displays information for this heading 1. While I could manipulate the style of the text here, it's faster and more accurate for search engine optimization to switch to the Styles section, where you can quickly apply headings and other styles. In this same panel, you also have access to the Topic Properties. The Topic Properties are where you can specify things like Title and Author. It's a convenient way to add metadata that will enhance your audience's experience when searching keywords and other important detail in your content. You can even add conditions to specific content or the whole topic to help the user determine what to show or hide depending on the options that they choose using the dynamic content filters. Here's another topic in my project, but the heading is missing its formatting. While I can select the text and set the appearance using the attributes in the content properties, the underlying HTML still shows this as a paragraph element and not a heading. Not to mention this heading doesn't match any of the others within my project. Instead, I'll go over to the styles, choose heading 1, and I can see the proper HTML without any of the extra clutter or ad hoc formatting applied to it. And I can use this same panel to format my tables. Selecting the table from the tag list, I have a series of tables that are stored in my cascading style sheet, and if I choose Table Unstyled, the alternating color bars and other formatting that was previously applied is now stripped away. Back in the Topic Properties, here is where you can add one or more style sheets to this topic. You can easily add a corporate style sheet to match branding with your main website, Or, from fonts.adobe.com, you can add basic fonts courtesy of your Adobe ID and anything from the Adobe Font Library if you also have an Adobe CC subscription. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us, techcom at adobe.com.